Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice homemade exponential equation. We've done similar problems before, so hopefully you'll get the idea. We have x to the power 3 times x to the 15th equals 2 to the power 32, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the second one, because we haven't started with the second method for a while, don't you think? All right, here we go. So the second method basically involves the following. First of all, I, there's something that I want you to notice. First thing I want you to notice is that 32 is 2 to the fifth power. You probably knew that, right? Hopefully. So our exponent is actually the fifth power of the base, right? And then on the left-hand side, if you look at the exponent, it's 3 times x to the 15th, and 3 goes into 15 five times. Make sense? That is 5 times, and 2 to the 5th is 32. So here's how we can proceed with an equation like this one. We can go ahead and actually, let's move this a little bit to the right, so we can make some room like this. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to start by raising both sides to the 5th power. And you probably know where that 5 comes from, because we already talked about it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides to the fifth power, and when I do, the exponents are going to be multiplied. So the left-hand side is going to be x to the power 3x to the 15th multiplied by 5, and the right-hand side is going to be 2 to the power 32 times 5. You can go ahead and write the 32 times 5 as 160, which is going to be a very large number, by the way. I think 2 to the 32 is already in the billions, and this is just going to be just amazing great big so but let's not distribute it because we're going to use that five we need it okay there's a reason why we talked about it but here we can go ahead and multiply these two things that gives us x to the power 15 x to the power 15 and this is the secret sauce you see those two numbers are equal once they're equal we're on the right we're on the right track and i think I gave you a general formula for this a while ago when we did a similar problem. I can't exactly remember. But one day I was in a plane and I was kind of bored. And I sat down and started writing problems that would work with this type of pattern. And then I kind of came up with a formula. Anyways, I don't know if I shared with you. But I think I did. It's been too many problems, right? I lost track. So the right-hand side, I want to bring this 5 over inside. So I can write this as 2 to the 5th to the power 32. And why am I doing it? Because 2 to the 5th, again, is 32. When I do that, the base and the exponent are going to be the same. Make sense? Awesome. So right-hand side can be written as 32 to the power 32, which is nice. The left-hand side, we're going to go ahead and put this inside, meaning that we're going to do the opposite of multiplication of exponents. So in other words, we're going to write this as x to the power 15 to the power x to the power 15, because exponents are multiplied. In other words, whenever we have a to the power bc, we can write it as a to the power b to the c. Make sense? We can take b inside. You can also take the c inside because b and c are interchangeable because they're being multiplied. Make sense? What's really cool about this problem is we kind of have like y to the y equals c to the c. So that means y equals c. Make, do you see what I see? Hopefully you do. So from here we get the following x to the power 15 equals 32. All right, let's go ahead and write it down and solve for x. And then we'll talk about the first method because this is the second method, remember? For those of you who came in the middle, this is the second method. So x to the 15 by 1 to 1 correspondence is equal to 32. Okay, so can we solve for x? Absolutely. All you have to do is take the 15th root on both sides and this is kind of nice because 15 is an odd number, so there's going to be a single solution. Wait a minute. Aren't there 15 solutions? Because a complex number, wait a minute. We didn't say x is a complex number. Well, if x is a complex number, that's a different story. My initial uh, attempt was basically, or my intention was to use the real numbers uh, for this. But we can also talk about the complex case. But let's talk about the real case first. So, from here we get x because the root and the radical or the power, whatever, they cancel out. 
leaving us with x equals 15 root of 32. To simplify this further, I can write uh, 32 as 2 to the fifth power again, so kind of going back to the base and exponent thing. And we have a special rule. If you have x to the power m and the nth root of that, we can write it as x to the power m over n. So from here, we can write it as 2 to the power 5 over 15. But 5 over 15 can be simplified and written as 1 third, which means x can be written as 2 to the power 1 third, which can be written as cube root of 2. And guess what? That is the real solution. The only real solution. Make sense? Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first method now since we're done with the second method. Okay. How do you do the first method? Well, for my first method, I'm going to do something kind of obvious and that's why I wanted to share with you the second one first. What is obvious? Ln both sides. Why? Because when you natural log both sides, you're going to be able to bring all the powers down and it's going to be easier. So let's go ahead and ln both sides, natural log. This is our exponent. We can kind of bring it to the front. That will give us 3x to the 15th multiplied by ln x equals 32 times ln 2. Awesome. Now, if we can compare 1 to 1 or, or do a 1 to 1 correspondence, that would be nice. For example, can x be 2? The answer is no. Because if x is 2, 3 times 2 to the 15th power does not equal 32. You see, it's not going to work. So we have to do something about it. And that thing is actually the same idea. We can first set these numbers equal to each other because I want to be able to bring this over here, but I don't want to do it as is because if I do, they're not going to be the same. I'm going to have x to the 15th with ln x cubed. They need to be the same thing. So to make the same thing, I need to multiply by 5. You get the idea? So that's our secret sauce. Multiply by 5 on both sides. And of course, you're going to multiply the right-hand side as well. And this is going to give us 15, 15 x to the power 15 times ln x. And then here, I kind of want to bring this 5 over here and then over here. You get the idea? That's kind of weird the way it's written. I should probably write the 5 before ln 2, but you get the idea. This can be written as ln 2 to the 5th multiplied by 32. And now we're going to be getting what we want if you move the exponents, x to the 15th times ln x equals, and let's write this as 2 to the 5th power, or we can write this as 32 times ln 32, same idea. And then we can go and actually, I forgot to write the exponent here, sorry about that. And now we can correspond these 1 to 1, look at that. If x to the 15th power is 32, then we have a solution because it just works. Obviously, you can also use Lambert's W function. You can just take this, work it out until you bring it to the point. And how do you proceed with Lambert? From this point on, you can write this as ln x to the 15th times e to the power ln x to the 15th. And then you can go ahead and W both sides. And if you W this, you're going to get ln x to the 15th, so on and so forth. And the rest will follow. But from here, we have an easy solution. x will be the cube root of 2 again because we got the same numbers. Now I told you that I was going to look at the complex case, but we don't have time. Time is running out. So <laughs> this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.